Hi, today we will get how to create some variable for tax amount. So let's preview the invoice format. So this is the invoice format we have done earlier. So now I will guide you how to design the report. So let's press on the blue color report name. All this is actually a label. So I have done ready for total exclude GST, GST amount, and also total include GST. So now I will delete one of the column and show you how to create a label. So let's delete the total exclude GST amount. And if I wish to add a label, I have to just press on this one, label, and my mouse have to click where you want to put this label. So let's say here, I just click. So as you can see, one label added. So what we have to do is to rename the label. So we have to just rename here. So after we rename, as you can see, the wording is overlapping with the subtotal. So we can make the column smaller and we can make it to two line. So once you adjust the field, you have to right click wall wrap to make sure all the wording in this label able to show up. After we have done for label, now I will show you in document detail. We have to press on sub report document detail and as you can see we have already added a few DB tags. So for Subtotal will be capture amount and for total exclude GST will be capture local amount. For tax amount, we will capture local tax amount. For subtotal include GST, we will capture local amount with tax. So now I will show you how to add a new DB tax. Let's delete the amount column. And you have to just press on this DB text and click where you want to insert this DB text. And then after you have insert your DB text, you have to just select it to amount. After we have done for document detail, now let's go back to min. Now I will get how to create some for all these columns. So as you can see, I have already created variable amount, variable local amount, variable local tax amount, and also variable amount with tax. So let's delete one of the column. Let's say I just delete variable amount. After I have delete variable amount, I will show you how to create a new variable. So we have to just click on this icon, variable, and click on where you wish to enter the variable. Let's say I want to enter it here. So I just select here and what we have to do is you must change the variable from string to double. This is a compulsory setting so make sure you have changed all your variable from string to double. So after we have changed it to double, now we have to insert the formula. We have to just right click the variable go to calculation so in calculation you can get the formula from our website so you have to enter in www.sql.com.my slash sqlaccount.intro slash user dash guide and then you have to look for 10.02 guideline to create some variable so we just press learn how to create some variable and system will download the PDF file for you. We just double click the PDF file. So this is actually the guideline. We just scroll down. So as you can see, this is the formula. So now we are creating for subtotal. So we have to copy both line. Right click, copy. So after we have copy, go back to SQL again and we have to paste it after we paste it for this variable one you have to check 
what is the variable name. Let's press OK. And when I highlight in this variable one, let's look on left bottom. So as you can see, the object is variable one. So we have to right click calculation, make sure this is variable one. So after we have done, just right click compound, make sure there is no error message. Press on OK. You can do the following variable by copy the formula in the PDF file we provided. Formula for total exclude GST and this is the formula for total of tax amount and this is the formula of total include GST. So just copy the formula and paste it into the variable. One last thing to highlight is after you paste it, make sure you have checked the variable field name and insert accordingly. Thank you.